Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so what we're doing today is 15 minute upper body strength. So this is really designed for those who are starting out their fitness journey or restarting their fitness journey. So we're gonna kinda go down to some basics, get some strengthening activities going on, but making it a little bit more simplified so you can follow along very easily. But even if you're a seasoned working out, this is still gonna strengthen those arms. So I have a range of weights. I have my lighter weights, so I have some 10 pound weights all the way up to my 20. But if you're starting out, maybe you get one and three pound weights, maybe up to some 10 pound weights. If you don't have weights, grab some water bottles, soup cans, um, laundry detergent, all of those work. Don't forget to sweat towel, a drink, and of course, your great attitude, and let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully I had a chance to grab some weights. If anything around the house will work, and if so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just opening and closing that chest. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thumbs up, and then I'm gonna rotate my thumbs down as I close them over. So I'm gonna give myself a hug, but I'm rotating those shoulders as I do that. Open wide, big open, and then big close. We've got two more of these. Last one. Now we're gonna take that arm, and we're gonna do big arm circles, really big arm circles. And now we're gonna go the other direction. Big arm circles, oh yeah. Now we're gonna take that arm and we're gonna throw that forward with our thumb up. Then we're gonna take our thumb down and pull it back. So we're getting a nice, like we're moving water. Forward and back. That shoulder has so much movement, we just wanna use a lot of that movement. Two more. Last one, and now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Big arm circles, oh yeah. And then wind it the other direction. And then we're gonna go forward and back. Nice and controlled, thumb up, and then pulling that thumb back. We've got two more. Last one, oh yeah. Now we're gonna take those arms and we're gonna throw them up overhead. So that way we get a nice good upper extension. Like you're throwing a ball right behind your head. Two more. Last one, and then let's do, let's take that arm over and back. Just kind of nice good elbow flexion and extension. And then the other side, oh yeah. We've got two more, last one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that wrist back. Stretch that out a little bit and then pull it down. And then we're gonna take the wrist back on the other side and pull it out and then pull it down. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll those wrists and then roll them the other way. One more time, roll those wrists and roll them the other way. Oh yeah, feeling good, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and do chest press first. So this is gonna be where you can use heavier weights. So we're gonna go down on our back and we're gonna have our feet up. It's gonna protect our back. So we're gonna go down on our back with our feet up. We're gonna try to keep that back nice and stable against the mat. We're gonna have our elbows out wide. So we're, the back of our arms are gonna be out wide. We're gonna come all the way up and squeeze it at the, our chest at the top. And then we're gonna control it back down. We're not gonna be really fast. We're gonna be nice, slow, and controlled. I want you to make sure too that your back isn't arching up. I want it nice and steady against that mat. So let's get in position. Get your weights. You want to out wide. And we're gonna go press to the center. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Press to the center and squeeze and then come back down. Slow and controlled. And I want you to picture squeezing that chest. When we squeeze that chest, we're gonna be much more likely to really activate the muscle we're looking for. So we're gonna work for 45 seconds. We're gonna give ourselves just a pause of a rest and then we're gonna do it twice through, kind of burn out that muscle before we move on to the next. Squeeze and then back down. Like I said, it's not fast, it's slow and controlled. When we get fast, we use a lot of momentum and we stop using the muscles that we're targeting. We're almost through, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh goodness, that was great. Woo, we got another one of those, okay? You ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Push to the center and squeeze that chest and then bring it back down. Now I want you to exhale as you push that up and then come back down. Okay, our breathing is actually part of our core, that diaphragm. So if when we coordinate that breathing accordingly, 
we're really gonna have a stronger core and we're gonna be able to really get the oxygen to those muscles that give them the nutrition. We're also gonna coordinate and have better strength and stability. 15 more seconds. And then what we'll do is we'll come up and we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna work that back next. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, okay. So we're gonna come on up. We're gonna get into quadruped position, meaning we're gonna be on our hands and knees. We're gonna take this weight and we're gonna pull it back and we're gonna squeeze that shoulder blade as we drive that elbow up back towards the ceiling. We're gonna squeeze that shoulder blade. Now, you're just gonna come up and squeeze and back down, nice and controlled, okay? So I don't want chicken wings. I want it staying like where it's sliding right against your uh, torso when you do that. And I don't want you hiking your shoulder. I want your shoulder down and then pull them back, okay? So let's get in position. Here we go, three, two, one. Pull that back and squeeze. Really picture, squeeze that shoulder blade and come back up. Nice and controlled. We're gonna do the whole set on this side and then we'll rotate to the other side for the second round. Squeeze that shoulder blade in and down, controlling it. Don't let it just flop down from that gravity. Control it up and down. There's a lot of strength actually when we're controlling it back down. You got this 10 more seconds on this side. Oh yeah, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got the other side now. We gotta even steven ourselves. Okay, same idea. Pressing it right and squeezing that shoulder blade. Three, two, one, up and back down. <sighs> Squeeze that shoulder blade and down. <sighs> nice and controlled. Drive that elbow back and squeeze and bring it down. Oh yeah, nice and controlled. You're doing great. Come on, squeeze that shoulder blade and bring it back down. 15 more seconds. Woo, baby. Yes, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, drop that weight. We're going down to some easier, or some lighter weights. Okay, so this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some bicep work. So we're gonna work that front of that arm. We're gonna have our elbows really tight to our torso. We're gonna bend that elbow up and back down. Now, I don't want any swinging. You gotta keep that body nice and stable. So I have my knees slightly bent. My butt is sticking out just a little bit. You're gonna feel your glutes activate when your butt's sticking back a little bit. It's gonna take that pressure off that back and we're just gonna be right here. So once you grab some weights, we're gonna have the palms facing the ceiling so that your palms are gonna be up. You're gonna roll that shoulder back. Just puts your head in a nice good position. And here we go. Three, two, one. You're coming up and down. Again, you notice I'm not using momentum and I'm also controlling it up and controlling it down. It's not a fast movement. It's up and down. Even if you have to lessen the weight, Okay, that control is really gonna work that muscle, burn it out. Many times I start out with one weight and as I fatigue, I have to drop that weight so I keep with great form. It is just a fact of life. Don't get discouraged and say, hey, means I'm working it hard, right? 15 more seconds. Nice and controlled up. Get my weights over my heels, knees slightly bent. Nice strong torso, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got one more of those. Woo, baby. Shake that out for a second. Roll those shoulders back, palms facing the ceiling. Here we go. Three, two, one, up and down. Again, knees slightly bent, weights over those heels, okay? My whole feet are touching the ground. They're solid, but most of my weight is on that heel, okay? I've got that glute activated. I've got my abs activated, so there's strong foundation. So all I'm moving is that elbow up and down. Oh yeah. So after this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and work the opposite side, the triceps, the back of those arms. You're almost there, come on. 10 more seconds. 
Hang in there, burn those guns out. They'll look so good when you're done. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Okay, so next we're gonna do triceps. So we're gonna lean down, have one arm on, on your, just to support yourself. You're gonna squeeze that shoulder blade back and you're gonna extend that elbow and down. Okay, so it's not a hinge in the sense of a swing. It's a hinge where you drive it up and slowly um, bring it down. You want that elbow back so that shoulder blade is squeezed and all your action is right here. This is just gonna support your back. So I just have my hand leaning on that. So let's grab a weight. Let's get in position. You're gonna hinge down, get that butt out there. Lean down, pull that shoulder blade back in three, two, one. Drive it back and extend. Now you can do this weight, this activity, like I am getting a great workout, okay? Even though I'm not a beginner because I'm just using heavier weights. So this is great because this is simplified for us beginners or you add some heavier weight and you're still getting a great workout no matter where you're at in your fitness journey. We're just not doing a lot of fast transitions to help kind of get ourselves aligned and ready to roll. We've got 15 more seconds. Extend that baby and bring it back down. Woo, 10 more seconds. Yes. Woo, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You guessed it. We gotta go to the other side so we even Steven this baby. Okay, same idea. We'll lean on that other side to give it a little bit more support. Squeeze that shoulder blade in three, two, one. Hinge down and back. Nice and controlled. Like I said, you don't want it to swing. You want to extend it all the way. Give me that full extension. You might need to drop the weight to get that. Okay, we're going against gravity, so it's heavy. You want to extend that, that elbow. That tricep extends that elbow. That's what its job does. So you want to give it that full range to get that full active ability in that muscle to fire. 15 more seconds, and then we only have one more activity left before the cool down. We're in and out today. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, drop that weight. Okay, the next activity we're gonna do is we're going to do flexion and abduction of that shoulder. So that means we're gonna go out forward and we're gonna go out to the side. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to pretend like you're pulling away from your body. So I have my, my knees slightly bent. Again, my weight's nicely distributed on my feet. A little bit more on those heels, activating those glutes. Nice tight core. And we're gonna pull that weight away. And when we pull it away from our, our, our body, we're not going to hike our shoulders up. We're gonna keep nice, good form. So we're gonna go out in front first. Let's roll our shoulders back. This is a pretty light weight, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one. We're gonna pull away into the front and back. Now this is long lever arms, okay? When we have long lever arms, we end up having that weight feels really heavy. So even one pounders can feel really heavy on that shoulder. You're coming down and up, making sure you're not having any back discomfort. Okay, you're not pulling in the wrong spots. You shouldn't have any shoulder. And my knees, are, my, my knees, my elbows are slightly bent. Okay, they're not locked out straight. That's just protecting that joint a little bit. We're coming out and back down, working those deltoids, working that shoulder, making it look nice and defined. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're doing the same thing, except this time we're gonna go out to the side and back down. Again, pull from the side. Here we go. Roll those shoulders back in three, two, one. Pull out and down. All the way out, pulling away so you're not lifting and hiking those shoulders. Nice and controlled. Again, my elbows are slightly bent. They're not locked out straight, they're just fairly straight. This is it. We just gotta cool down after this. Doesn't that feel great? Can we get a nice good workout in those arms? Feeling strong and mighty. It's very important that we get a lot of strength into those body, start putting some weight to it. Getting that lean muscle, it's so powerful. It burns more calories at rest, so there's a bonus for that. Burns more calories when you're done with this activity than if you just did straight cardio. Isn't that exciting? Here we go, three, Two, one, and rest. Drop those weights. Pull that arm across and let's stretch that shoulder out. Oh, doesn't that feel good? 
And then we're gonna pull that right up overhead and behind us, pull that shoulder back and that elbow close together. It's gonna get that tricep that we worked when we did that kick back. And then the other side, let's pull that across. Oh yeah, get that shoulder stretched out. And then we're gonna take that right up overhead, pull that elbow back behind your head and squeeze that elbow together and get that tricep, the back of that arm. Now we're gonna take that arm, we're gonna put that thumb, rotate as far down as you can and then behind you. That's gonna get that bicep and open up that chest a little bit. And then the other side. Take that thumb all the way down and rotate, pull that baby back. Now, if you can, I'm gonna have you grab both hands and lift up. Now, if you can't, take a towel on either side. Lift that up and open up that chest. Now, we're gonna take those hands and we're gonna push, make a big C movement right here and we're gonna push out, push those shoulder blades out, out, out. And three, two, one, lift on up and then give yourself a high five for rocking that and have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you want to keep that momentum going, I have a free gift for you. It's my 10 minute slim and fit core routine. This video will help you look better, feel better and move better. All you need to do is click the first link in the description below, then enter your name and email and I'll instantly send you one of my favorite core routines. Did you like this video? Then let me know by clicking the like button below. Leave a comment with your favorite part or even ideas for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. All you need to do is click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my future workouts. So let's go get started on that 10 minute slim and fit core routine. I'll see you there and have a great day.